Magnetic fields come into play everywhere in sound and music. This microphone that I'm holding, these speakers, they all use magnetic fields to transfer sound, as does tape, and as do transformers. So one of the things that's gotten kind of a bad rap is this effect, is the magnetic field effect. And that's what we all love about tape. I mean, yeah, there's the resolution, but without tape, Jimi Hendrix, The Who, they wouldn't sound as good as they do without pushing the tape. You know, if you listen to music in the 60s when recording was evolving, the first half of the 60s, things sounded kind of dry and almost like, I, I, I call it going from black and white to color. And when color happened was when they're like, you know what, screw the rules. Let's slam signals into the tape and see what happens. And suddenly you have Sergeant Pepper. I mean, it wasn't that easy, but you get the idea. Anyway, big misnomer is that transformers color the sound more than anything else. And that's really untrue uh, in many ways. Let me give you an example. Well, just talking about turntables real quick. Phono cartridge is magnetic. So when you listen to a turntable, you're listening to a magnetic pickup, just like a microphone. Or guitar. Uh, guitar. Yeah. So here, hand me that bad eight for a second there, my man. The eight? Yeah, yeah bad eight. So with a tape head, OK, you have a tape head, two inch. It's yay big, OK? So if you have 24 tracks, you have a very small amount of tape head per track. And really, there's a physical relationship between the size of the magnetic transfer and the resolution. So that's why when you hear Vance talk about eight tracks per two inch, the resolution is way bigger. And if you've ever heard the Dead Weather album, it's seven and a half ips, eight slow. track, two Light inch. And slow. This shit is real. <laughs> anyway, this is like having an entire tape head for every channel, meaning like an entire two inch pickup for every channel. This is the equivalent to having an eight inch <laughs> tape head right here with these transformers. That's the resolution we're talking about. So one of the things that's frustrating that we hear around the old internets is how the transformers add tone. And really, they don't have that much tone at all, especially at nominal levels. The other thing that's great about magnetic transfer of audio signals is the phase response. And phase response is probably one of the biggest issues in audio that people don't understand because with tape machines, accidentally, they corrected the phase response of signals that may have been distorted by going through EQs that had a lot of capacitors. So without getting too complicated, phase response is the relative time that the highs hit you versus the lows. And everywhere in most signal paths, the phase response is such that the lows start lagging the highs. So it gives this perception that there's less low end. But really, that's not the case. What the, what the problem is, is that the low end is coming out late. So if you hit a low note on a bass, the fundamental frequency of that note is coming out late, so it sounds gutless. And no matter what you try to do, you turn up the low end and you're have all these plugins, you're trying to figure out how, what's wrong with this. Well, what's wrong is the low end is lagging. And with transformers, it has the opposite effect. And in fact, the transformers, when we do a phase response test on our A to Ds, the transformer perfectly counteracts the high pass filter of the A to D chip. So it has perfectly flat phase response, which means your high end and your low end are coming in at the correct time.